you guys, you're already rock stars. Congratulations, you're very talented. You can see that you all work a lot and very seriously on your voice and your control of pitch and stuff. It's, it's really terrific to see such dedicated young ladies. And I mean, you know. Thank you. I think the only thing we could do to, like, maybe make this moment a little better for you is to introduce you to somebody who knows a little bit about singing and acting and fashion design. And it's a young person just like you. Perhaps you might recognize her. She's been with us before. Selena Gomez is here. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're one of the cactus cuties, Selena. That was so amazing. <laughs> so good. Wasn't that wonderful? That was right? beautiful. Can you remember the first time you started singing into your hairbrush? I, yes, I can, actually. I wasn't on Rachel Ray, but... <laughs> Well, you know, we're going to watch a little clip from one of Selena's many day jobs and let the girls hug it out, and then we'll be at the kitchen table with Selena in just a second. Watch this. So, Alex, what are you going to wear to the party? I'm thinking my slippers, my gray sweats with holes in them, and my dad's old concert t-shirt from the band called Oingo Boingo. <laughs> <laughs> that name cracks me up. I don't know. <laughs> sitting down with Selena, who's, who's back with us. And, you know, this is the last season of Wizards of Waverly Place. So there'll be like six million young broken hearts all across the country. But what are your feelings on, on wrapping that up? I, I have a feeling, I mean, because we're, we're, we're doing such a long fourth season and we're doing another movie and they're going to have reruns. So I think we're still going to be alive. My show is my world, so... I love it. It's, it's going to be very bittersweet. So it continues in just different forms. Yes. I mean, you got a movie still to look forward to, and it'll mm. live on. Yes. So that's good. That's good. It'll certainly calm the girls down. <laughs> they are still over the moon. That was so nice of you to come out in support of them. It really does look like you belonged right, right I know. In that group. It was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, your second album... A Year Without Rain. You know what I really like about this is we were chatting about it before Selena came out, and it's Selena in the scene. It's really important to you to be a part of a band and to feel a part of a group, right? Mm -hmm. It's not all about you. You want right. it to be a part of a band experience. Yes. I mean, I'm really into indie music, so I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I mean, I come from an ensemble show, so I love having a family, and I love being able to be on stage and share that experience with a band. So I wanted that family aspect of my music. You know, one of my uh, one of my favorite people right now is Katy Perry. Yes. I just think she's so interesting and cool. Me too. You work with her on this album, you collaborate with her, and I want to know what that experience was like for you. I actually, the song um, is called Rock God on my album, and she was so wonderful, and she gave me the song, and she was like, and she goes, you are a diva, but you're a good diva. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. So she's like, you can leave my background vocals on, so I get to hear her every time I hear that song. Isn't that great? I love her. Yeah, so. she's, yeah she really is. She's so cool yes. and fun. And I'm, I'm glad you guys got along so well. It's good to know she's a cool person yes. behind the scenes. Very too. cool, very sweet. And you know, I loved that. I don't know if you heard in the in the tape piece when the young ladies were talking about people they admired when they brought you up. They said we really like her because she's a good person too. Thank you. It was really nice. Thank you. So we visited together several times before, and it's the 60th anniversary of Trick or Treat for UNICEF, yes. and this is the third year that you are the ambassador for this. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to give people a few of the stats, you know, Trick or Treat for UNICEF. You guys have seen these show up at your front doors, right? So just this campaign alone has raised over $160 million. You know, and UNICEF is in 150 countries. Of course, they work on education, health care, clean water initiatives, child nutrition. And, you know, she walks the walk. I mean, you don't just talk about this and uh, be a spokesperson for it, but a lot like Audrey Hepburn, you've been to Africa, you've seen the work being done. You've gone there first firsthand. I yeah. was, yes. It was amazing. I got to go with my family. We were able to visit the families and the schools. And it's so, they have it right. 
it's all about family for them and and it's just so sweet how happy they are all the time and kids were playing with a plastic bottle as a football to them and it was just amazing for me to see and very humbling it's a beautiful thing to see people happy with us to touch on is that uh, you know you've got a very successful brand and part of what you're doing with your brand yes. is a t-shirt that benefits yes mm -hmm. this is for UNICEF we're selling this month at Kmart so everything all the proceeds that you buy this shirt goes strictly to UNICEF and on the back it has a little message from me dream out loud and UNICEF thanking everybody who buys this so everything comes out of her mouth her parents must be like Darn, we did such a great job. <laughs> you no, know, it's really great, though. You know, we have this adorable picture of you dressed oh, up for goodness. Halloween when you were three. Oh, oh, I mean, come on. <laughs> Tigger? Uh, can you stand it? Oh, gosh. I know. It's my embarrassing. My Nana made me have a photo shoot that day all around my house. My Nana was like, and pose with this, and pose with this. <laughs> oh, my god. Now, goodness. hold the scarecrow as Tigger. <laughs> so, you're 18 now. Are you mm -hmm. throwing a big Halloween bash? Are you going to have a costume ball? No, I, I, I want to go home. Because I think Texas has the best haunted houses. So, yes. I kind of want to go to those. I love haunted houses. <laughs> the creepy hayride, yep. the haunted house hops. Um, thank you so much for spending so much time with us. So, for more information on UNICEF and all things Selena, from music to fashion, go to our website. We'll hook you up. Ladies, she's all yours. We'll get a snapshot before they all split up. We'll be right back.